I just did an experiment where I played 20 games on EU and 20 games on NA to see what's the biggest difference between the two regions. I played Wraith only with the same build and no add-ons. And after every game I collected all of the data from the matches so I could see how many gens were done, escapes and a lot more stats. I also took account of the different time zones so I did play the matches so that they would be around the same time of the day. But first, quickly, why did I decide to do this experiment? I did it because I've seen a lot of people talking about EU being the harder region to play in pubs and I've heard people from outside EU talking about how the gameplay in EU is a lot different than their region. So I decided why don't I test it out for myself. Now disclaimer, anything I say in this video is just from my experience, okay? I know that the data don't 100% represent both of the regions because frankly you would need a lot more games to get more accurate data, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so let's jump straight into the stats and see how things went. I'm just going to show you all of the stats and later I'm going to talk a little bit more about them. Starting off with average kills. On EU servers my average kill rate was 3.8 and on NA my kill rate was 4. So on NA nobody managed to escape while on EU I had two matches where people were able to escape. Next is generators remaining. The biggest difference here is that on EU there were zero matches where 5 gens was remaining versus on NA that happened 4 times. And also you can see that there were less gens remaining overall on EU. On NA they were not able to complete all the generators during the 20 games that I had. So if my math is correct, during the 20 games NA did 1.6 gens in average while EU did 2.55 gens in average. Here on escapes, nothing that interesting, 0 escapes on NA and 4 escapes total on EU. Then we have the most popular perks used on both regions. Windows, Resilience and Life were both very popular on both of the regions. And also there was a lot more anti-tunnel perks on the EU region, like Decisive and Off the Record. Now this is the data that I think is very interesting, and it's the cross-platform data. On Europe there was 73 PC players and 7 cross-platform players, while on NA there was 31 PC players and 49 cross-platform. Now that's a huge difference between the two regions, and one of the first things that I noticed when switching regions was the amount of cross-platform players, aka for the most part console players, even though some of them could be epic. And lastly, here's just some quick uh, bonus data on some items. Uh, I mean, nothing too crazy here, but uh, here you go. Now, after playing on both regions and after looking at the stats, what is my thoughts of all this? First off, I live in EU, so that's where I normally play, so that's what I'm used to the most. Playing on NA was a lot less sweaty, meaning gens were not as efficient. I felt very relaxed and I felt like I didn't really need to tunnel because the gens were not flying. The survivors were not playing as good, the looping, the usage of perks, techs and just overall game sense were just not as good as on the EU. Okay, and what I'm about to say, this is not a diss to console right, players, what, but I do think because there were so many console players on NA, things were a little bit more easy. I'm not saying that all console players are worse, but in general, from my experience, they don't play as well. Now here's the thing why I believe that. PC used to have a lot more customization when it comes to gameplay, key binding, more responsive gear to get faster inputs, programs like Reshade to help with darker maps, and just, you know, using the camera to look behind you is a lot more manageable on PC as well. And yes, all of those things don't really matter as much as experience and game knowledge, but they do help a little bit. Like, I don't know, when I see a console player, I see somebody like chilling in the couch after work or school, just, you know, playing for fun. But like, I don't know, PC just feels more like strict uh, and just not as relaxed. Maybe I'm just yapping here, but I, I, I don't know. That's kind of what I'm feeling from my experience and the data. I don't, I don't know. No hate to console players. I know there are some very good ones out there. Anyways, moving on to Europe, the survivors felt like they were much more experienced. They were taking hits, doing the vault take on my wraith so I could not break the pallet doing gens a lot faster and gameplay wise I had to like slug and tunnel a way more on EU to deal with like facing better survivors. Also maybe this also has to do with the fact that NA had a lot more console players so they can't end game chat but EU was a lot more toxic in the end game chat. I mean teabagging players, salty end game chats and uh, yeah all of that was just way more common on EU. So 
What's the overall conclusion from this experiment? My overall conclusion is that it's harder to play killer on EU than NA. Yes, the kill rate was not much of a difference and I almost won all of the matches on EU as well, but the road to getting those win conditions was a lot more harder on the EU side. And it was just overall a much more stressful experience. Now, I'm gonna say it again, this is my conclusion from this experiment. I, I know we can't like 100% draw any conclusions from this, because again, we need way more data to make this more accurate. But anyways, I wanna hear from you guys' opinions on all this. What do you think about the NA versus EU? Or is this experiment? I mean, let me know in the comments. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please leave a like if you want more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.